Hello everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to uh, a new Barbie centric video. So this video will definitely contain several parts. So it's mainly a haul, I would say. So I have Barbie dolls that I can show you here. Uh, it will also be a little unboxing because I also have a box here that should also have a Barbie in it or rather not a Barbie but a character that goes into the Barbie line. And then I also have tons of fashions. A lot of Barbie fashions in there. Where does all of the stuff come from? <laughs> well, uh, a couple of weeks ago I went over to um, my friend Victoria. We had met uh, at flea markets uh, since the beginning of the year here and there. Um, she said she watches most of my videos and uh, I all also recognized her always at the flea market because she also has a very extravagant and cool style. She also wears a lot of you know pinks and purples and platforms and glitters and uh, similar to my style a little more black in it also but very very cute style so I also kind of then always recognized her. Ah it's you again cool. So I also kind of made a new friend at the flea market you could say. Uh, she is mainly a Barbie collector, but she also likes uh, the other like cutesy, you know, toys, girls toys from like the 80s, 90s, but they need to be like pink and purple and cutesy and like, I don't know, there's like a difference in the way we collect. But she told me once at the flea market, um, by the way, you, I, I'm actually missing this and this that you say you find all the time, I don't know, Barbie dress or something, and, and I'm actually missing stuff that she has because she, she said she also has tons of doubles. So I was like, okay, then just let's meet up. <laughs> I bring my doubles over, or well, things that I think could be interesting for you. Not only Barbie stuff, I also brought ponies and some keepers and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, and she showed me all of her stuff. Um, I did not film while doing that. Uh, A, I think she's not super, like she doesn't really want to be on camera. Uh, and also it was like, oh, it took the whole afternoon. We were rummaging through all of the stuff. And um, and yeah, that's uh, mainly what I want to show you. I want to show you the dolls that I got and the fashions. But here with all of these fashions, there's also half of it, I would almost say. It's also from a flea market where we both were rummaging through Barbie fashions together. That's why I lumped it into this video because actually I did not film at this flea market. Um, so uh, at that day, actually, we kind of made the deal. Hey, let's actually meet up, etc. Uh, so that's why half of the fashion directly comes from Victoria from this trade and half of it is, but is from a flea market. So this will probably be the last part. Um, so it's kind of four Barbies, all of these fashions. <laughs> Uh, but where does this box come from? So this has nothing to do with Victoria. This actually comes from uh, Sven. He just uh, like wrote me one day on Instagram uh, that, um, I don't know, I think he watches my videos and he actually has a doll that I recently in one of my videos like mentioned that I'm missing. Usually I'm like, yeah, I would like to find them myself at flea markets, etc. But uh, in this case it was like, he found her at a thrift store for a really good price a while ago. And he's not really a doll collector, but she, he also still remembers things from his childhood because it was one that he always wanted to have. Um, so it was like, she would be better in my hands. And it is a doll that I probably will not find immediately at the flea market, I guess. Because I have a history of not finding this character very often in the wild at flea markets. So um, I was like, okay, and you really want to just give her to me? So, oh my goodness, thank you so much, Sven. And uh, don't worry, you said like, oh, it took him so long to then finally send out this box. Do you know how long it took me now to finally film this video while I'm opening it? <laughs> because I had initially planned to put this in, in a uh, different um, Barbie haul video. But then I decided I will not film this video because it would have contained also lots of more modern dolls. But now I'm more making separate small videos for these modern dolls, the shorts. So for example, I have the Barbie Dream Bestie, etc. So stuff like that or how I or other stuff like I, I um, how I got the shoes from my, for my 1977 Superstar Barbie. I make some shorts of that and don't include it in another video. So that's why this package is here in the video. But even before we get to that, I want to remind you that uh, when you are watching this video, probably then a week after, like 
the next uh, week um, will be the Toy Plosion Convention. And I have mentioned that and if you haven't decided to go to, to this uh, event yet, then you're probably not planning it that on such a short notice. But yeah, my friend Cotton Candy Kittens and I, so not Victoria, <laughs> Cotton Candy Kittens is another friend that I once met at the flea market and we are now super good friends. We both will sell. We will be small sellers, vendors, whatever you want to call it, at this small toy show. It's actually not a small toy show, it's kind of a big toy show. It's called Toy Plosion. It's more in the west of Germany, like in Castro Brauxel, which is near um, uh, Dortmund and we have two small tables there. I don't know if these tables will be <laughs> too small for all of the stuff that we have or we don't even bring enough stuff, so I have no clue. But yeah, so in a week from now when this video goes up we will be there. It will be Saturday and Sunday the 14th and 15th of September and I can already, if you are like even planned to go, I think they still have Sunday tickets. So if you, so it's, yeah, it's both days and we will have stuff on both days. So if even if you come on Sunday, you will be able to buy stuff from us. Yeah, we will just be selling our doubles, double ponies, double Barbies, double keepers, popples, whatever we will have there. Uh, I think most of the stuff comes from uh, Cotton Candy Kittens, so not from me, but I also, I'm, I'm in right now in the process of, you know, pricing out things, how much will I charge for these and that, and to decide what, which stuff will I really take with me, etc. Uh, I can at least tell you where our table will be, if you will be there. Um, so the kind of the hall is like the main bigger part is down, you go some steps down and it's this whole big like hall a lot of tables, a lot of vendors, all of that. But then there is this like upper part where it's like like on a balcony around this hall and we will be up there. So if you when you come in into the entrance, you can look down on this other stuff, but we will be on this like area, on this area on the on the balcony part. The like desk numbers or the table numbers are E347 and E348. If that helps you because they have not used my uh, YouTube name unfortunately for neither for the table nor for announcing that I will be there because you know I'm not a big youtuber and especially I'm not really known in Germany and I'm also not especially not known within the you know more boy toy collectors realm because this convention is a little bit more geared towards boyish toys but you know action figures and stuff but if you will be there definitely come over there say hi buy stuff from me <laughs> or just say hi <laughs> So that was the reminder, we will be there, it is planned. I'm in the process of, you know, deciding which things to take with me. For example, I will probably take all of my um, Polyville sets with me. I want to get rid of them and then all of my double ponies and double blah blah blahs, Barbies, fashions, etc. So let's start with this package. Yeah, because the video will be long because this will take ages to go through all of the fashions, but you know, I like to do that and it will be the last part. So if you're not interested in all of the fashions, you can then watch the video until this point, then leave it. So I have not had a look in here. I just cut the tape open. So, okay. Oh my goodness. What, what is, what is that? <laughs> this is a card. This looks funny. <laughs> <laughs> Did you draw this? Sven, oh my goodness, it's just, like, what the? It is like a Hollywood hair, it is Hollywood. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, it's a Hollywood hair pony. And Hollywood hair and Teresa and Skipper. <laughs> oh my God, it's like a caricature. I guess this is your art, isn't it? I mean, <clears throat> Liebe Lau, hier nun endlich die langersehnte mm -hmm -hmm. The Doll. Uh, ich hoffe, ihr werdet euch gut vertragen und streitet nicht zu viel. Liebe Grüße, Sven. So, yeah, he says uh, the long awaited mm -hmm -hmm doll in the package. He hopes I will be good friends with her and not get any, uh, <laughs> like, what was it called? Uh, streiten. Um, get into any arguments with her. But no, 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 I'm pretty fine with this. So, let's have a look. Who is it? Maybe the card artwork did you get a little bit already of a hint? Or I showed her in the thumbnail anyways and you're like, why are you making this such a <laughs> such a surprise thingy? Oh, there she is, there she is, there she is. Ah. Skipper! 
Oh my god, yeah, I wow. have all of the other Totally Hair dolls. I even have Totally Hair Ken now, and of course Barbie for a while, and last year I found Totally Hair. Um, Teresa, and now here's the skipper. She has almost all of her pieces. This is so good. And the full length of hair. Ah, uh, I love the poofy bangs. And it is one of the skippers that actually has pretty dark blonde hair. Usually, like if you are like late 80s, early 90s skipper fan like me, I mean, not nowadays. Nowadays, skipper has dark brown hair with a purple streak in it. No, but. Uh, that's not really Skipper for me. Skipper has blonde hair for me, uh, but this is a pretty dark blonde hair. It is almost the same hair color, I think, as my Esther Teresa. Um, so, yeah, she is so adorable. This is my favorite Skipper face, you know. It was first used, I think, in 1987-ish, around that time, 88, and then until the, you know, early, mid-90s. Ah. Super long hair. She has this um, top that already, you know, you can see it. It says Hollywood hair. If you see something with these stars and with, with the name Hollywood on it, it's totally like easy to identify. Yep, that comes from a totally hair, either fashion or from a doll. So this is like kind of a uh, half length sleeves, uh, crop top. And then we have this little glittery skirt and these leggings. They're like three quarter leggings, so like Freeze, you could say and it is in such good condition uh, I mean these these golden like you know prints can obviously you know come off with time with touching or if you put it in the washing machine all of that and this material is also prone to you know get little rips or little like you know it, it obviously it can like stick to velcros and then get you know I don't know what the word I don't know frizzy or whatever um, and she has something in her hair and he said this might probably not be the um, uh, band the hair band from her it could also be the one from Barbie I have to check that because it says it looks longer but I think Skipper also came with something like this like either like a scarf or a hair band or something and I think even the uh, Teresa also came with it so if it's not hers then it's maybe I can put it in my in Teresa's hair but uh, she looks so good also here little side ponytail I have to look up if that's like what she really came with I mean it's definitely not the original rubber band anymore that's definitely done by Sven I guess and yeah he said uh, his neck is a little bit yeah there is a little neck chip in here but uh, yeah, I mean this is nothing that I will repair or anything unless if the head is really loose and falls off then I can repair it isn't there's no need for me to repair it I mean her head isn't even like loose or anything it's just Ah, oh, thank you so much. And yeah, I have not really a history of finding a lot of skippers in the wild, not this skipper. Um, I think apart from that, I found this kind of box of skippers in this uh, one um, vintage toy store once. I think I have only found one of these skippers in the wild. And most, I mean, I have a lot of those, but most of the others came from trades or people sent them to me as gifts or, um, or I bought them online or I bought them online in lots or something like that so that's where most of my other skippers of this type so that's why I was like I definitely risk getting her because like uh, don't think that I will find because often when I buy something online I'm like Barbie related then like I don't know in two weeks I will find it at a flea market but I don't think that will, ha will happen with her thank you so much Ah, where should I put her? I mean, this is not the best area to film, to really put the toys up so you can still see them. Maybe here? Yeah, okay. Now let's get to the dolls um, that I picked up over at Victoria's. So, because we traded, as I said, I gave her some ponies, some dolls, some fashions, a keeper and some other stuff. So let's start with the one that I actually also you have kind of seen. Um, in my uh, Barbie uh, you know, collection video. Yes, Songbird Barbie. I had the dress for the longest time, um, but I had it on my Angel, uh, that, that Bubble Angel 
uh, blah 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 angel princess barbie <laughs> and now i have angel princess barbie up i can also get her down for the video but yeah this is actually the original songbird barbie she is a pretty common doll i guess i just have never run run across her at the flea market like um a victoria had four of her or three of, I don't know if it was three doubles and one she keeps or it was like at least three songbird Barbie. <laughs> so I just picked out one that I like the most and uh, that's her. Yeah, I didn't re recurl her hair or anything because it is Saran hair and I mean she didn't have really curly hair to begin with. It's more like a little bit of a wave. So she has this super adorable, oh, can you please focus, thank you, um, like earrings with um, the rose, same as the necklace and ring so the same mold that i don't know for example i think also even team talk barbie had these earrings uh, i'm not sure if this is kind of the original hairstyle but i think she had like a little side up ponytail and little ribbon in it and yeah this is the dress the dress is not in the best condition but i was always happy with it there's some little rips in it at the back and it's a little you know curled in here so it's not as long as it should be with this over and the flowers are not the best anymore but I'm happy with it so finally I can then put her next to my songbird Teresa yeah and um, this Barbie by the way is from um, 1995 was released in 96 oops she loses a shoe and she her feature was that she came with this little bird that you could balance either on your hand or that could balance on Barbie's hand which I think is pretty difficult to be quite honest like I have my i have my teresa has her bird and it's quite difficult to get her balance on her hand but it kind of works and then the bird could also make some noises like chip, 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 chip. so uh, but i don't have barbie's bird so barbie would come with a blue bird and like in this size and yes i have her now very happy it was a doll that it totally made sense for me to pick up because then i could change the dress to this and the other dress to the other barbie yeah let's get her down Because this is not the doll that I picked up from Victoria, neither is, it, is the dress, but the wings. But you saw the wings also already in the uh, Barbie collection video. Yes, this is Angel <laughs> Princess Barbie. I think she's even 97. I think she was released either 97 and came out in 98 or like 96 and came out in 97. I'm not sure about this, but like, yeah, she has this like thing in her, um, oof, in her dress. It's not in her back that way you could put these wings on but mine I don't know if the wings are necessarily broken I mean they could also flap I cannot really show you but you could see you could put it up and down here but I had to strap it to her neck because the wings were always falling down they were like flopping down so either it is a little bit broken but you can see the wings are also not in the best condition anymore a little discolored and something is missing here uh, so it might be that uh, it's a little bit broken because no normally you should be able to move this thing in the back and the wings, wings should go a little bit up and down like this um, but I'm fine I also don't have everything of her outfit because this is correct dress but she she had she would have some like fluffy things around her uh, shoulders I'm um, like like I don't know if it was a more like a feathery material or it was more like um, like a fake fur material um, I think more like feathers even um, but yeah she is very pretty you can see her again so that's the wings I picked up yes she had double of these wings so but now I could put up this directly as the angel princess and this directly as the songbird otherwise uh, this doll was always wearing this dress. Another doll that I picked up from Victoria is All American Barbie, or uh, as I think she was more known in the European parts here as Weekend Barbie. But she clearly has a very American theme with, you know, stars and stripes and all of that. Um, I, yeah, I had, I find these fashions all the time. I don't know how many doubles I have of this vest and of this skirt. Uh, though the top is not even the original one. Yeah, she would come with the top in the same color, but I think more or less, more, even a little more cropped, but with, you know, three quarter length sleeves, I think. And more like a, a little bit more open um, uh, neckline. Uh, these, like, um, uh, 
the socks are correct though the second one that i have is not really in a good condition and the shoes are not correct because one of the main features of this line was also that they all came with real branded like sneakers so i think in the us they came with um with reebok reebok shoes and uh, i think in definitely in germany but probably also in the other european part they came with adidas shoes uh, i put on some some other cool like trainers now these i think come from the skipper from the late um 90s are these are these the ones from the extreme green skipper i think so but yeah the cool thing also with this doll is she has two different kind of textures of hair i mean both of that is kanakalon but uh the upper part here is just um kind of curly and then the lower part here the longer hair also this is shorter and this is longer it's really crimped i did not have to recrimp this she is in a very just in a very good condition uh they also like she also came with one of these which i don't have one of these little curly things in like rubbery plastic you know these spirals that you could put in the hair i don't have that but other than that she has earrings love these earrings and also her ring and i think she was not a double victoria just said she's not super interested in this doll she would for example never put up a doll in this outfit she would always she's more into really the ball gowns so and uh, i'm absolutely into this i love this line i love all of the fashion packs that came with it i'm not even sure if all of the dolls were released uh, of this line in, in europe or in germany like i also have the chris um chrissy not the um the kira and I'm pretty sure the Ken was also released here. But like the Teresa or the Chrissy, they are extremely rare, never seen them. Also not even online, but I'm not sure, but uh, maybe they were released here. It's a very cute line. All of them have these, you know, um, denim outfits and these, you know, branded shoes, you know, Reebok or, or Adidas. Ah, love her, never found her in the wild but like Victoria also just goes to flea markets so all of the stuff that she has and now is in my possession uh, originally also come, came from a flea market so all American Barbie from the year I think 1991 and then probably in the stores in 1992 another Barbie with crimped hair is whoopsie is her and yeah I also did not have to recrimp her hair she also still had this amazing i mean they are it's in very good condition but there's one issue with this doll she's not on the correct body and the body is actually kind of what makes this doll um this is super talk barbie not teen talk barbie super talk barbie she was released two years later i think she's from 1994 and um or maybe even 94 95 but definitely like two or three years after uh, the original teen talk barbie which is from 92 and um, they put out another talking barbie and she is definitely on a different body she cannot talk she does not have any buttons at her back or anything any speakers and i immediately recognized her because i at first I mean, she was not wearing this outfit by the way also she was not wearing this outfit i got just got a doll nude uh, because i had all of these fashions um also here i just got the doll nude but what i definitely saw immediately when i was like noticing is yep so you can see this doll has the super tiny pronounced toes that you can directly see so to me it was like this is not the correct body also like the the color of the body does not match 100% her head. It is okay, but it is a very muted brown, like, I don't know, beige tone for, for the body that looks very early 80s to me. So I'm pretty sure she's on an early 80s body. I don't know, pretty pretty tanned 80s body. So I don't know, Golden Dream or, or something or maybe the the birthday barbie or something that that i have from the 80s uh, from the early 80s also had the same kind of shape of skin but i was still pretty interested in her because i mean she does not talk right now but um maybe if i once find a better one and i have at least a good body also for other dolls like for example my um beauty secrets barbie needs actually a body that would be the correct tone but i don't know for now i leave her on this body because i don't have another body for her and she is ah oh, she is so pretty and yeah she did not just like talk um like 
couple of uh, phrases or something. No, she was advertised to have like 100,000 things she can say. And it's kind of true. I don't know if anyone has really counted how many combinations she could actually, actually say because she was talking in kind of, you know, building blocks of like sentence structures and they could be mixed up depending uh, when you push the button she would not every time say the same things because the building blocks could be mixed up for example she would have things like i don't know um cool that would be the first building block let's go second building block with the friends or with ken or whatever to the mall shopping or something and then these building blocks of the sentence of, of the phrase would be mixed up in totally different way but it would always be like kind of I don't, I don't know like um, hello should we go blah 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 to there with someone or something like that I have never heard like her talk in English to be honest because I've watched videos in German where with the, with the German doll that's why I don't know how the sentence structure is different in the, in the English one but um, yeah but this is definitely her original outfit not fully but uh, the main pieces for example the skirt uh, I've had for a very long time it came from one of my first Barbie lots that I found either online or at the flea market uh, this jacket is kind of a new addition from another flea market um, she had a white top underneath I don't know if it was a long sleeve or a short sleeve or without sleeves currently I have a little I don't know three-quarter sleeve thing on her which I don't know if that's the correct one probably not but it, she had a white top underneath um, and then she had this style of shoes but not in blue but actually in gold and I think that might be the only ones that were released in gold so if you find these shoes in the typical 90s uh, flat boots in gold probably go to the super top Barbie but I mean blue also works pretty well with the dark denim and then I put on some uh, yeah, random socks. I'm not sure if she came with socks. I think she had white socks. Um, yeah, she has these earrings here. Whoops. So these round ones in gold. And she would actually also come with a little like um, like denim meets uh, gold hat, like a little tiny hat that you could put on her that actually was kind of, you know, sewn on also with a thread. Um, if it's not on there then it's probably always missing <laughs> but yeah and super lovely uh, crimped hair super talk barbie oh, once again her face also super like you know mid 90s cute face and cannot demonstrate the talking because she is not on her original body all i picked up from victoria is this one um this is let me the bath blast barbie yeah there's actually three bath uh barbies from the early 90s and i constantly mix up their names <laughs> uh, i don't really mix up the dolls i know which one is which but like one of them is called bath time fun that's the earliest one from 1990 she's the one with a you know light blue and yellow uh, bathing suit that also had these um little things like as a skirt that made out of foam um, and that came with this foam that you could spray on and what you could sculpt stuff out of you know fashions for her she had the same feature but her name is bath blast barbie she's from 1992 and yeah she had this bathing suit on i did not have this bathing suit this was in victoria's pile like separately from the doll and i was like oh cool i would like to have this bathing suit la 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 and then i was like and you also have the doll you don't need her no no you can have her then obviously i put these two things together yeah but she also had the same feature she would also come with foam you know, a bottle of bath foam whatever shaving foam whatever i mean you know this very very strong thick foam um that you could then you know spray around her and make fashions or make her a cool head or whatever and you know you could wash it off in the bath so and then there's actually a third one um, that came between the two from 1991 I think I don't know exactly but the other one is called bath magic and she had a different feature I think the bath magic one had these capsules that you know when you put them in water they dissolve and then some pieces come out of it like uh, 
you know do you know these towels that come out of these capsules and this is similar at this doll there there were some accessories some fashion accessories that came out of these three capsules but it's also a bath bath barbie so bath magic bath time fun and this is bath blast and she is the coolest one for me because she has such an interesting face look at this eye makeup this is so striking with yellow and blue in her eyes and also yellow um, uh, eye makeup and then pink also and she has these big uh, pink earrings this is her original hair length this is not cut she did not come with very long hair which is probably for the better of you and all of this foam thingy but like yeah I don't know um, and I also did not like with all of these dolls I did not do a boil wash because the hair was in such nice condition and um, yeah I didn't want to destroy the factory curl here because this is also Kanakalon, if you boil wash it, it's straight, definitely. Um, and she has this cute puffy, like these cute puffy bangs. This is kind of original hairstyle. So adorable. Uh, you would think actually, you know, they are kind of budget line dolls, but they came with this foam, etc. But they don't have the budget arms. They actually all have the um, normal superstar arms. Uh, she's missing her ring, okay. But and I, I don't think that she came with shoes, but most of my dolls are put in shoes <laughs> so and she's from 1992 yeah the bath magic one also has a super interesting eye makeup and also the bath time fun barbie is super cute i don't have these the other two um at one point i will find them i'm pretty sure i would like have i would like to have all of the ones the three of them the bath time fun also had a skipper released i don't think that these other two had any other dolls in this line there was no skipper or no Teresa or whatever or a ken or something i don't think i think these other two the bath last the bath magic they think they just had they were just a standalone doll but yeah super cute these colors love it and um yeah, these were actually all of the dolls, um, including this amazing cute uh, skipper from Swen. I'm so happy. I definitely have to find a good place, but the good thing is with skippers, they're a little smaller than Barbie, obviously, and they can mostly stand still kind of halfway in front of Barbie and you can still see the other Barbie behind it. So uh, display-wise, skippers are really nice. Um, so now we will definitely get to all of these fashions. So if you were just here for my rant about the toy plosion and to see these Barbies, then thank you so much for watching. But if you're up for 80s, 90s Barbie fashion galore, <laughs> uh, then keep on watching. Okay, so now let's get to all of the fashions. It's a lot. <laughs> And um, I cannot strictly remember maybe which uh, pieces I got from uh, Victoria directly and which pieces I found at the flea market when we were hunting together uh, for Barbie fashion. So, um, oh my goodness, it does not fit all on my table here because for, for these uh, sorts of videos, is there anymore? Yes. <laughs> um, oh my God. Um, I use a smaller table, so let's start. Okay, what do we have here? Ah, yeah, this super easy dress. This is uh, from a Fashion Finds uh, fashion pack from 89. I recently, like, I always just had part of the skirt. I don't know, I had like the cut version. I mean, there's also a skirt release just like this, but I only had always, I knew that it was once this dress and it was cut. Now I finally have this full dress. Oh yeah, this fun thing. I think that uh, comes from the flea market. This is uh, the jacket from a beads uh, or bead fun fashions. Um, yeah, fashion pack. I think it's missing either trousers or a skirt. It's from 1994. And it obviously is missing the beads because you could put also the beads in these fringes here and then create different styles. Oh, this is the variant to a dress that I already have in purple. This is um, from the mid 80s, so from 1985. It's just a normal fashion fun uh, outfit. Um, I think the purple version might have even also come on Fashion Play Barbies, but this is the pink version. Obviously, to me, the cuter one because the purple is rather dark purple. 
This is also a very cute dress. It has the crinkly iridescent fabric at the top. It is kind of like a balloon uh, skirt on it. Uh, this actually, oh, and it's one strap. It comes from a Fashion Play Barbie, from the Fashion Play, I don't know, whatever they were called. <laughs> Purple uh, version uh, from 1989. One of the many Fashion Play Barbies was wearing this cute dress. This is also from 1989. Um, just a very simple, like, like fashion pack, um, missing like small pink shorts from the fashion finds, so 89. And this originally comes from the Ibiza Barbie. I don't even have this Barbie. It's one of the many, you know, early, late 80s, early 90s um, kind of budget Barbies, but not the fashion play ones, but the ones that were always like named after, you know, a place to be on vacation on, like, you know, uh, Bali Barbie or uh, Saint Tropez Barbie. And here we have Ibiza Barbie. Ibiza is, well, an island. <laughs> so, ah, yeah. Here it is. I was already teasing it in my um, Barbie collection video. Yes, this is the little outfit that goes to the bicycling Stacy. This definitely comes from um, Victoria. I know it because when I was rummaging through her stuff, it was like, oh my goodness, I'm searching for this for so long. <laughs> I mean, not that I've ever searched for it online or anything, but like, yeah, I definitely need this. Well, this does not necessarily go together here, <laughs> but it comes kind of from the same line. Um, so, because this comes from the Ski Fun Mitch, this is the jacket or a pullover or whatever you want to call this because it's not necessarily a jacket, doesn't have an opening in the front. Oh, this is so cute. Yeah, Ski Fun Mitch, don't have this doll. <laughs> and this is, uh, these are the pants from Ski Fun Ken. Also, don't have this doll, but yeah, I think both of this, both of this comes from uh, the flea market, I'm pretty sure. Oh, another piece that I was needing, like that I need dearly. This is actually the kind of ruffle thingy for around the shoulders. Uh, for my Perfume Pretty Barbie. Perfume Pretty Barbie from 87. I didn't even say that for Ski Fun. Ski Fun is from 1990 or 91. Um, yeah, but Perfume Pretty Barbie, very iconic. I have her, now I have this ruffle. I think it's a little stretched out, but I will probably still make it work. Ah, yeah. Simple, cute rainbow top. This is from 1985 and it goes into the Be Active fashion line from Barbie. It's definitely missing a lot of stuff. I think it came with white shorts and stuff like that. Potentially even like a vest over it. So. Yes, from the flea market. <laughs> Three different, you know, swim shorts for Ken, for different Ken dolls. So uh, this is from the Splash and Color Ken, which is kind of the newest one here in the bundle. Uh, it's from 1996. This is from the uh, Tropical, um, no, not Tropical. This is from the Glitter Beach Ken. So it definitely glitters. Can you see that? Ooh. <laughs> uh, from 1992. And it gets older here. This is from the Tropical Ken from 85. And I, I even have his lei, so his, his like flower necklace. Um, no, I don't have any of these dolls. <laughs> I'm necessarily not the biggest Ken collector, not picking up like random simple Kens all the time, but maybe now I should uh, start looking into it because I, I, have, I, mean, I have quite a couple of pieces that I could put on Kens because these beach Kens, I mean, sometimes they also come with the top, but like, I don't know, the splash and color can just came with this. If I would get the doll, I could ultimately complete him in one go. And very, very perfect. I have another hat for one of my Teen Talk Barbies. This definitely comes from Victoria, uh, Teen Talk Barbie 1992. I have three dolls currently and two of them are wearing hats. One of them is missing a hat. I mean, in my collection, she's wearing a different hat. Um, unfortunately, it's the same colorway that I already have, but I don't care. At least I can put a Teen Talk hat also on my third one. Okay, this is a little weird. No, this is not a <laughs> new Barbie fashion pack. I just used this baggie here. Um, because when I like picked this up, I was like, oh, this is clearly the same hat. But it's not the same hat. So I think this one goes to the Paris Pretty fashion pack. And this one is something else. Was there another doll? Or is this maybe just a Petra hat? I could see this being a Petra hat and I think, yeah, I mean, clearly different size, different material, different way the 
the thing and this is even has a yeah i think this is the barbie head and this might be just a petra head but yeah this is paris pretty uh from oh i don't remember i didn't write it down because i was just wanted to show you this head which i picked up and i was like oh this is clearly the same it's not the same <laughs> Paris Pretty is something either from the late 80s or early 90s. This is very, very cool and classic and very 80s. Uh, it's not even 80s, uh, I'm lying to you. It's actually from 1979. It's uh, from the line of the fashion collectibles. Yeah, so this is early superstar era, but it, it's, it's a fashion pack from, from that time. So it's a little ripped here. It's a little bit of a, like some runs here, but Still very cool, glittery, nice material, gold. And it is also kind of a variant, or there is a variant. I mean, it is a variant. There's another, like another material that was used for this as well. The number uh, 2780. By the way, are you interested in hearing the numbers? Because, you know, the fashion packs mainly have numbers. Should I always say them or are you not interested in that one? <laughs> so knowing this. So here we have um, 90s, 1992, uh, an easy living fashion pack dress. Very cute, love this, screams like, you know, early 90s, the neon era, you could say. Really like this. For example, this has the number 660, so yeah. I'm not really understanding how the numbering system is with the RB fashion packs because this sounds like it's a very, very low number, but the low numbers would be actually the ones from the 60s, but like, I don't know. And here, yeah, I've had the skirt for a very long time, years already. <laughs> uh, finally, I have this top, it was in the pile uh, at Victoria's home, so um, this is also easy living. Yeah, it's an easy living fashion also from 1992, potentially from the same line as this one. So here, this is not uh, the whole thing that I picked up. This I already had, this is a clone, um, like um, glow in the dark, you know, dream glow clone dress. But then Victoria had this, and this clearly either goes directly to this or comes from a very similar fashion pack, and it seems it's like a cape or something. So I could make this even cooler, this uh, clone fashion thing here. So I picked it up, so definitely glows in the dark. Uh, this little glittery jacket here, this comes from the pet show fashions. So yeah, it is Barbie. With this material, I'm sometimes not exactly sure because there's also clone fashions with this material, but there's also real Barbie fashions with this glittery material. Yeah, pet show fashions from 1986. It's missing the dress that would come with this fashion pack and the little white uh, plushy cat that came with it. Here we have a jacket and it comes from the 1991 rollerblade fashions yeah at first i was i mean i was guessing it's rollerblade i don't know i thought maybe it comes directly from one of the dolls um but no but this um comes from the rollerblade fashions so you know flicker and flash the the, the barbies that you know could light up with their wheels <laughs> or could cause fire hazards oh i love this material i don't know why i think it's similar to um the fashions that the barbie um, Skipper and Stacy of my Sharon sisters set are wearing, but I've never had one of those fashions like really out of the box. It's not from that, but it's kind of, I think it's the same material. This is actually uh, uh, from a greeting card. It's one of those greeting card fashions, you know, happy birthday, what on it, with the Barbie and then this dress and you could just write your little text and then uh, give this as a little additional gift to, you know, when you were invited to a birthday party. So it's super cute, it's from 1994. So this is um, a fashion fun, the number 2086. Uh, it's missing a silver belt. So uh, it's, uh, by the way, from the 80s. Like I didn't write it down, honestly. I don't know why, but I think it's like 85 or 84 or something like that. Um, and there is actually also a pink variant of this dress with, with a gold belt. Um, and I think it was also released directly on one of those fashion play dolls. So yeah. I like it. It's like this one shoulder thing with this huge ruffle here. Really pretty, really cute. And yeah, here's another, <laughs> uh, I don't know if I've showed it already, but this is definitely a ruffle fun 
the ruffle I have now two of them but this was also I think uh, Victoria also had it didn't need it and she was and I was like picking it up and then after that actually I found the other ruffle at the flea market but yeah I mean I have also several dresses with ruffle fun so ruffle fun is a Barbie from 1994 uh, this little cute rainbow uh, skirt I was not even sure if it's Barbie or does it have a tag no, it doesn't even have a tag, but it is actually Barbie. Um, uh, it comes from Barbie fashions that are just called Barbie fashions. Groundbreaking, I know. It's from 1995. Very, very simple fashion pack. I think it also comes with a little top and the same stripe material. But it has such nice colors. That's why I picked it up from um, Victoria. And here we have another 80s classic fashion pack fashion fun 1985 it's this little jumpsuit that i already also have in yellow and it comes with a belt the yellow one has a like a blue and red belt this one has a, a yellow and green belt i think um yeah so these fashion packs uh, mostly they kind of they release them in different colors so then this is one of them is definitely a variant and i feel the yellow one is the more common one you have seen it more often Yes, all of those pieces come from Victoria. She had doubles of each of those. Uh, we also I picked up the one that's in a little bit like least good condition because it's a little bit more gray already here. But yeah, this actually, oops, I can also take this off, comes from the Home Pretty Barbie or the Sweet Roses Barbie. I think those Barbies are almost identical i think one of them has also an apron and the other one does not or something they are the same doll uh with the same fashions but you know it's this longer skirt as a metric with this little you know um like fold or crease over it here then this bigger skirt that you can attach i mean you can whatever way you want you know or make it like an asymmetric thing or use it use it the way you want and then this little top here with a couple of these little ruffles here and rows it is super sweet i don't have the doll it's not a terribly rare doll or anything but she's a very cute face um maybe one day i find it um so for now i think it's not complete i think there's more pieces to it but yeah uh, it's from, I think one of those Barbies is more credited to be 1988-89 and then the other one is like 1990, so I don't know, Home Pretty or Sweet Roses, so. And another big poofy skirt, <laughs> yes, here we have the big Superstar skirt, she also had a double of this one. Uh, from not the 77 Superstar Barbie, no, she looked different, that's from the 1988 Superstar Barbie. Uh, I. Currently, this is uh, something that I already had. I put it just together. This is a small skirt that she could be then to do. Now I'm wearing this, or you just place it underneath, or you place it like this, or whatever. Um, it should be silver, but um, I don't even have this Barbie. I even have her uh, earrings, but like slowly, but truly, I'm getting a couple more pieces to it. And this is super, super adorable. So yeah, 1988 Super Barbie. So this is also super iconic. I don't have the doll, but maybe I find her. <laughs> this is from the, um, the the phone fun skipper from 1995, released 96. It has pictures even of um, Skipper and of Kevin and there also yes, Courtney here. <laughs> Um, you know, I have the Courtney actually. Maybe I put this on my phone fun Courtney for the time being. What's this? This comes from the flea market. Ah, oh, yeah, this is uh, Ken. I have also obviously a couple of Ken fashions. Mm, what do we have here, actually? 1985, twice as nice. Yeah, there's so many twice as nice Ken fashions from the 80s. It's missing blue pants with a yellow waistband. But yeah, you can decide to have this this uh, mustard yellow pullover, or you do it the other way around. Then you would have this more bluish blue, I don't know what sweater. But obviously you then have, of course, the seams out. But this is also like, I mean, it, it can be done like this. It looks also cool. So a nice 80s sweater for Ken. And more Ken, I think. But this time, even in the name, sweater soft fashions. Yeah, here, cool purple sweater with a color um, and the sweater soft fashions are from 1987 uh, yeah but it's also can i think sweater soft fashions were also released for barbie but this is from one of the ones 
from Ken and this is also, I mean, it's even more soft. <laughs> yeah. But not reversible, so not a twice as nice one. This is a little <laughs> bit different than what we had before. But I picked it just up for the heck of it. It was like, oh, this looks so cute. This is so neon. I like these see-through bags and all of that. And then I found out, oh, it is actually the Teen Skipper bag. Yeah, it came with the Teen Skipper from 1996, probably released in 1997. Uh, super cute. I don't have the stall. No, I just saw a video that Lilina, my friend Selina, found her. But also she doesn't have a double or anything. Yeah, I honestly don't have any teens skipper, but yeah. Back in the 80s, what's this? Ah, super cute. Love this rainbow number. Uh, fashion Fantasy, 1983. It's just a fashion pack. Fashion Fantasy is not at all. Here I was like, oh, clearly. Original Barbie, United Colors of Benetton. Just a simple t-shirt. It is probably either comes from one of the dolls. There were two doll lines in the early 90s with a collaboration of, with the brand United Colors of Benetton with Barbie. And there were tons of fashion packs. And then I was like, oh my goodness, I cannot freaking find this. This is not from the fashion packs and this is not from the dolls. What else was there? This actually comes from uh, one of the Benetton um, play set. Yes, there was a mall shopping, I don't know, shop fashion shop mall whatever what you call this like a boutique <laughs> place set i don't have the name uh, memorized or written down but yeah it, it comes from this one so but also like early 90s like 1991 or something yeah so you might have, you have seen which doll i've picked up and yeah this also goes into the um uh all american or like weekend line for barbie from a light night like 1991 92 um, it's from a fashion pack so this is one from one of the fashion packs the number 9441 and then yeah finally here you get to see it I have also talked about this in my room tour already or not room tour like Barbie fashion tour fashion Barbie collection to video um, that I can finally now put this on the mermaid on the bubbling mermaid yeah this comes from the flea market and ah, there it is yes i can put this on bubbling mermaid barbie she's um, obviously a mermaid barbie <laughs> from 1996-97 so i can finally put this on here it was i couldn't even really remember with which fashions that i haven't shown on the channel this i put this but this comes from this flea market where i rummaged around with victoria okay yeah i mean you have seen these fashions a lot on my channel already oh here the so active and the active fashions um this is this is what i picked up here this is the top i i didn't have this so in this colorway it was also one of those typical things in the 80s this is from like 85 or yeah 85 the so active skipper fashion it often was released and also in a different colorway and i'm feeling the other colorway is more uh you find it more often it's like green and yellow uh, but this one, I just had these pants before and now I also could pick up the top so I have this full fashion pack for my skipper. So this is clearly fits the youngest skipper, like body. Ah yeah, I picked this up from Victoria, she had no idea what it is. She's not really into the, you know, workout Barbie fashions. She clearly prefers her like ball gowns and princess style stuff. But uh, I was like, oh, this is cool. What is this? And I had a, quite a hard time identifying it because it does not come from a doll. It does not come from a fashion pack either. Uh, also not from a play set, but kind of, it comes, it came with a mountain bike. It is from 1991, the Barbie and Go mountain bike. Yeah, you got the bike for Barbie and this fashion piece in this pack. So <laughs> there, that's where this comes from. Oh yeah, this is uh, probably not Barbie. I'm pretty sure it's not Barbie. But this is one of those things that I still, it's so stinking cute. I love this. This uh, is, I, my guess is that it's um, Zindi. So Hasbro Zindi, not like pedigree old Zindi. This like 90s Zindi, I guess. As I picked up something similar also from Victoria, which I'll show you that's the last thing because I already have it on a doll. With also something that has this button. It could also be Petra. So it could also be Petra because it could be early 90s Zindi or it could be like late 80s, early 90s Petra. 
It is so cute. Oh my gosh. Like I love the combination of like denim with um, lace. I don't know. I don't even, I mean, I should just make myself something like this. Get myself a cool denim jacket and like, and like put a lot of lace on it or on a skirt, something. This is so like late 80s. Love, love, love it. Mm, this I just got because, oh yeah, it has this material again, you know, this glittery material. So it could be Barbie and da 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 da. But then I found like, oh, it's actually pretty small. It's not Barbie. Wait, does it go to, yes, it goes to the Jewel Secret Skipper from 1986. I do not have this doll. This doll is kind of. It is difficult, not difficult to find, but difficult for me to be like very excited about it. She has the skipper face that I least like. So this mm -hmm. grinning 80s skipper face. And she has always discolored legs, like crazy discolored legs. And, um, and she has like kind of sausage curls almost, like super, super tight, small curls. So um, she's a very interesting doll. I'm not sure if I really want to pick her up specifically, but if I find her, I will probably pick her up. But yeah, this goes to it. Oh yeah, my beloved Western fun, early 90s or like 89 and probably released 90. This does not come from one of the dolls, but from a fashion pack. Yeah, these are lots of the things, I think all of them are picked up, yeah, from um, Victoria, uh, that go to different Barbie and the Rockers fashions. I mean, I did not know that when I picked them up. I was just like, oh, that's cool, hot neon, then this material, all this probably belongs together. This I actually picked up in the same go as I picked up the, you know, bag from Skipper that I showed you because I was like, oh yeah, these see-through thingies. But this, for example, I mean, it's not the whole fashion pack, obviously, but it goes to um, one of the Barbie and the Rockers fashion packs. It's the number 1166. Obviously, it came with more things, but um, this is very cool that I kind of picked up like things that go to this one fashion pack. This, but there's more. Yes, I mean, I could make a whole uh, one outfit with, this, with these pieces together. I could put, for example, this jacket on top of these pieces here would look amazing. That is from a different Barbie and Roca special pack. I think this comes... No, it's also from the first wave. I'm not even sure if this is from the first wave, but because there were two waves of Barbie and the Rockers, one from 85 and one from 86. So this is the number 1176. Uh, also obviously not complete, but the super cool. Look at that, love that. And I have another one, <laughs> this here. For quite a while I was not able to identify it, but when I was looking closer into all of the Barbie and the Rockers fashions, when I found out that this is also Rockers, and I mean, this was clear, but yep, because this, I mean, it's just one of those, you know, lace, uh, like leggings. It could have come from whatever workout line or something, but no. Uh, also Barbie and the Rockers um, fashions, but the number um, 2690, so. I forgot to write down if any of these come from the second wave, but I mean, could you I mean, look at that? I could make a very cool <laughs> outfit with these. Okay, this, no, I have not picked up this whole thing. I just put it in here because it goes to it. Maybe you remember that I, uh, like, at this big, big flea market in Switzerland and, and so on, I had these um, here, these heart family pieces. And yeah, randomly at Victoria, I picked up this cute uh, like blouse, which I was like, I don't know, it feels really like a Mattel 80s quality, but I uh, couldn't really find it. It doesn't have a Barbie tag. Turns out it doesn't have a Barbie tag because it's Hart Family. Yeah, this comes from the Hart Family mom or goes to it or whatever. That also is from this set, you know, the camp, camp, camping set. It doesn't really look like you should be camping in this very stiff thing but it's very cute and it goes to it so i gotta put this together and this is also amazing that uh, victoria i think had a double of it because uh, this is actually from the winter sport or hot skating barbie i don't have this doll but i have the uh, like jumpsuit that's the one that inspired the um, roller skate Barbie from the movie. Kind of this material jumpsuit, I have it. And now I have also have this little skirt that goes over it. I currently only have the Mitch with her fashions, um, but I mean, I will definitely also one day come across the Barbie. So I have a couple pieces from her outfit at least. 
Then I have another bag here, which has stuff in it that I couldn't identify. Um, I think I picked them up from Victoria, most of them. Um, one is this, it is definitely not a Barbie dress, but it is so fluffy and so amazing. Um, I would guess it's, I don't know, it has these super small like um, the Velcros, these tiny ones. So I cannot even tell you if this is maybe Steffi Love or maybe it isn't even Steffi Love, maybe it is even something completely different. I don't believe it's Patreon. It's like material wise, it's nothing that I would like put with together with Petra, but oh, love this thing. <laughs> then <laughs> this actually um, was, I didn't even intend to pick up. I think it was, it was stuck to something like to a Velcro of some other piece that I picked up. Um, oh my goodness, I have actually, yeah, I think I found out what this is, but I forgot it now. Ooh, shoot. Um, I will put it here because I think I found out what it is. It goes to a Ken or something from something something from a beach line or so i don't i don't remember but um but yeah this was really not my intent to pick it up it was stuck on one of the velcros of another piece um i have another simple pink top which i always need i might look into if this might be the one from uh barbie and the beat it has definitely the same material but barbie and the beat i don't know if she has a long top or if she just has a crop top i'm not sure but it could be the one um, this, I was like, oh, the colors look uh, as if it goes actually also to the, um, like, um, Western Fun line, but no, it, but it has a Barbie, like, logo even on it. Can you see that? There, it has the 90s Barbie logo. And, um, I could not find out where this comes from. I just found other people selling it and, uh, but never which fashion pack or which yeah set this came from and i have these two cute pieces and i'm also very sure that they are barbie also probably something same as this probably more like late 90s or so so maybe even early 2000s could still be um super adorable both with polka dots i have found other fashion packs that have exactly this material also but not this asymmetric little top and also not this but if you know where this comes from exactly which fashion pack or whatever please tell me they are so stinking cute i just picked them up because they're so cute and then i picked up this bag which i don't know where it comes from if it is barbie or not it's pretty big and spacious and uh, you know i like to accessorize my dolls sometimes on my on display just just for the heck of it it doesn't need to be a barbie piece or go to the doll but like this is pretty nice with silver and um, light pink and the last pieces uh, I have already put on a doll. <laughs> yes, here she is. Um, this is actually the new um, Barbie Dream Besties doll. And I kind of am a little meh about her fashions. Her top is actually cute, but I restyled her. And I unboxed her in a short, so a YouTube short. If you want to see the unboxing, I think it should be up by the point this video here's, here goes up. Uh, there you see how I unbox her, how she should like, should look like, and then I, did I restyle her into this? Yeah, because this actually, this um, like top, maybe I take uh, these things out of her hands again. Uh, this little dress here actually kind of fits her okayish. I mean, she definitely has a different body than Barbie, but this top, I mean, it's not really a top. It's this is a separate skirt underneath here. And it, you couldn't wear it as a, just as a dress. This is this little with these colors here. This dress, it is like, oh my goodness, it is so adorable. Uh, but it doesn't, does, also doesn't fit a normal Barbie body. So my guess is, and here you see it has one of those buttons that is also actually 90s. So Hasbro Cindy. I put it on my Cindy dolls from the 90s. They have a flatter chest and all of that. It fits them very good. So probably. So but it kind of also fits her. I mean, here it's not, not super good, but I wanted to put it on her because it, with these, with this uh, like light pink hair color, uh, I definitely, I don't know, wanted to put it on her. And then I also took this, and this I also picked up from Victoria, but this, the uh, lace um, tights, and actually this t thingy here would go to the uh, 1987 Party Pink Barbie. The shoes, by the way, are the original ones from the stall. But yeah, so you see, I picked up this asymmetric or like high-low skirt, this probably Zindi dress-ish, 
dress top, whatever. It's not really a dress, it's not really a top. Um, yeah, these two pieces from Victoria. Well, the tights and this I already had, so. Which, which is originally comes from the Party Pink Barbie. I know that was a lot. That was definitely a lot. <laughs> uh, it took probably ages, but there was some so, so cool pieces in it. And mostly all of it I could identify. I mean, these couple of pieces here that I would not be able to identify. And, and yeah, and you also got, got a little bit of view of uh, how I restyled my Barbie Dream Bestie. But yeah, there's definitely also a, a short for that. Um, so that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget, you can give it a thumbs up. You can um, comment down below. And if you're not subscribed, just push the subscribe button and uh, maybe also the notification bell. Then you will always be uh, informed and you will see my videos when they pop up on the YouTube subscription feed and you will not miss my videos. And um, yeah, as I said, next week, for, for, for you next week, for me, it's still in two weeks <laughs> right now filming this, um, the Toyplosion will happen Saturday and Sunday, but and, and, and on Friday, we can already start putting our stuff up. So we will be there already on Friday. Um, but uh, you will still get a video. I don't know, probably a flea market video, I guess, from March or April or something. <laughs> yes, I need, I still, that's a long time ago, but I, I still wanna, they are filmed the videos are there i just have to edit them and then they can go up so um yeah you will in the future always often then see some kind of videos that were still filmed in the beginning of the year so i hope you don't mind that anyways thank you so much for watching see you real soon and may the toys be with you and the barbies bye